annual report to the public highlights the district's progress to provide opportunities for academic and personal success for the almost 9,300 students we serve. Bryant's seven school board members are volunteer leaders. These public servants completed 68 board training hours in the 2019 calendar year. The board recognized longtime member Scott Hart for his 12 years of service. The board welcomed new member, Mr. Craig Leone, elected to the position. After three years, board member Danny Chisholm was recognized for his leadership. Mrs. Patrice Muldrow was appointed to the board as its newest member. Together, the board sets direction, develops policy, and oversees the district's strategic plan. Focus areas include social and emotional learning, teaching and learning, facilities and systems, and personnel. With climate survey results and testing data for the school year unavailable, the Board of Education agreed to delay reporting and evaluating of year four. The strategic plan will continue through 2023 rather than 2022. The board is responsible for an annual budget of over $80 million. The board values stewardship of our taxpayer dollars, working within a fixed budget to educate Bryant students. The district receives state funding in the amount of $6,899 per student. The amount per student raised by local taxes is $2,366, with the remaining $4,533 coming from state participation. The fiscal year ended with a legal balance of $6.4 million. During the past year, major facility projects supported by the 2017 millage election were completed. In August 2019, the district celebrated the opening of the new junior high school for our 8th and 9th grade students. The Fine Arts Center, located on the Bryant High School campus, opened classrooms in September. The Edward Love Auditorium held the first public event in December with a combined performance of the Bryant High School Choirs and Celine Symphony Orchestra. History was made when Hornet Arena opened for the first time in January. The arena, which seats 2,300 people, features the largest video boards in the state. Hornet Arena was the host location for the 2020 6A State Basketball Tournament, bringing teams and fans from across the state. The band shell was added to Hornet Stadium in fall 2019. The new ticketing and concession area was constructed in time for the 2020 football season. Additional bleachers were added to both the home and visitor seating areas. Thanks to the generous Everett family, new turf has been laid at Hornet Stadium. The complex is now recognized as Everett Field at Hornet Stadium. Another key board initiative of the past year was adding school security officers to campuses across the district. The officers not only provided additional security, but worked to establish positive relationships with students and staff. Last year, the district served 9,299 students with 13% eligible to receive special education. 41% of our student population is low income, up from 38% the previous year. Over 33 language groups are represented, with 755 students in the ESOL program, an increase of 83 students from 2018. Special education services were provided to 90 early childhood students. Evaluation for any child ages 3 through 21 suspected of having a medical or learning disability is available through the district's child fine process. Contact the Special Education Office for more information. AP exams moved online for the first time due to school closure from COVID-19, but our 634 students excelled, taking a total of 1,121 exams with a record 59% scoring three or better. The district prepared 632 graduates to enter college in the workforce. Graduation for the class of 2020 was anything but traditional. Four separate ceremonies were held on site at Hornet Arena. Bryan High School had two national merit finalists. ACT scores for the class of 2020 were higher than the state average. Students exited Bryant High School with 1,398 college credit hours and earned $13.8 million in scholarships. More than 89% of our students graduated on time. Our transportation department maintained 96 bus routes, transporting over 6,700 students to school and home safely each day. The Parent Center helped over 500 families with supplies, 
food, clothing, and other services. The Hornet Health Center, along with partners Arkansas Pediatric Clinic, Connor Dental Arts, and Eye Care Center of Saline County, provided care to 974 medical patients, 329 dental patients, and 52 optometry patients. The district celebrated many successes last year. Spring Hill Elementary was named a Leader in Need Lighthouse School for being a great example of the strong leadership model and processes. Spring Hill Elementary is only the sixth school in Arkansas to obtain Lighthouse status. Collegeville Elementary was selected as a Capturing Kids Hearts National Showcase School for the 2019-2020 school year. Collegeville is the very first school in the district selected for this honor. The Hornets are in the second 7A state football championship following a record-breaking season. The mayor proclaimed February 12th as the first Blue Hornet Day. The whole community showed their Hornet pride by wearing bright blue and Hornet gear in honor of the second state football championship. Bethel Middle School seventh grade football completed an undefeated season and the Bryant Junior High Hornets football team earned the 2019 Central Arkansas Junior High Conference Football Championship. In other honors, unprecedented numbers of choral and band students received state awards. The Hill and Farm Archery Team, FCCLA, Engineering and Robotics, and Destination Imagination Teams all qualified for state competition. Schools serve the community through food drives, care packages to the military, visiting nursing homes, and help at hospice. For the second year, the district awarded honorary high school diplomas to veterans who chose country above self and education. Our dedicated faculty and staff earned deserving awards. Bright head football coach Buck James was honored as the recipient of the overall All Arkansas Preps Coach of the Year Award in addition to many other Coach of the Year awards. Brenda Qualls, Bryant High School teacher, was a second year finalist for Arkansas Computer Science Educator of the Year. Now a yearly tradition, the district honored the service of our classified employees. Paraprofessional Carly Covert was named Classified Employee of the Year for her work in establishing a STEM lab at Collegeville Elementary. We were pleased to recognize Tanner Oglesby as Bryant Teacher of the Year. Mr. Oglesby is the head choir director at Bryant High School. His rapport with students, success with the choir program, and dedication as a teacher earned him the honor. The food service team provided an average of 2,150 breakfast and 5,149 lunch healthy meals each day, breaking two records this school year in the number of lunches served. The summer food program provided over 32,500 meals to children. Through a partnership with Arkansas Food Bank, 1,130 food boxes were distributed to families in our community. Due to the COVID-19 health crisis, schools closed on-site instruction in March and remained closed through the end of the school year. Our innovative and resourceful teachers began delivering instruction through Zoom and Google Classroom. The tech department provided over 3,500 Chromebooks and over 200 hotspots to help families with the transition to online learning. The food service team paired with transportation to deliver over 100,000 meals to children in the community. Schools even held drive-by parades to connect with their students. The communication department launched a new website and new app over the summer, resulting in increased engagement with all stakeholders. The annual report has provided a snapshot of the past year at Bryant Schools. For additional details, read our annual report to the public, available at bryantschools.org. Thank you for your continued support as we work to become the state's premier provider of education services.